All right, three, two, one, begin. This is a famous Gao fried chicken. Five hours low roasted pork ribs, pork and prawn dumpling, sake cured salmon, banana leaf wrap fish, tuna kinilaw, papaya salad, bacon duck pancake, longanisa skewer, masaman curry, eggplant. It's Ben Dickens here from the New Zealand Herald, and today we're at Gao Asian Fusion, where we're going to be witnessing a speed eater absolutely demolish some food. It's insane. Let's do it. I think I would have been like. 22, 23, and there was a sales peak eating contest. And my mom was like, oh, you should enter it. You know, I reckon you'd win. I said no for like ages. I was like, no, no, no I don't want to do it. That's, that's weird, I don't want to, you know. And then on the last day to like qualify for it, I went in and I set like one of the best times for eating one of their bit, like massive 18 inch pizzas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, I ended up going to the final like a few months later and I beat like 19 big dudes. And I was like, <laughs> damn, I could actually like make a make bit of like a career it. out of this, you know? Right. Nala has gone from a model to speed eater and now a qualified doctor. Obviously, like being a doctor is like my main focus. We need to get into. Yeah, that's like my main focus. So that's like my main career. This is more of like a side hobby, like fun, like gives me a lot of cool opportunities, which is nice. So I was a huge fan of Matt Stoney and Furious Pete. So both of them are like competitive eaters. Uh, Furious Pete was also like a bodybuilder. So I used to watch their videos like religiously, like I would not miss them. Uh, and I was like, oh, I could do that. So I started filming myself doing like certain challenges. Like there was the Mad Mix one kilo burrito challenge. Yeah. So I filmed myself doing that. It was terrible. It was in portrait mode before like TikTok was a thing. So everything was normally in lag yeah, state. Yeah, yeah. It was the worst video ever. Like it was actually but terrible. But you did the challenge. But I did the challenge and I uploaded the video and it just went viral. When this model and Beauty Queen is not on the runway or competing for a crown. You can find her moonlighting as a competitive eater. Oh, her I name is woman. Nella Zisser. And look at this. Wow. She's doing what the, she's scarfing down. Is that a burrito? Yeah, it's a burrito. Jono and Ben actually saw it. Wow. And then they asked me to like come do some stuff with them. So I did like a lot of stuff with John and Ben in the beginning. They, is that kind of how like some traction in New Zealand kind of started? Yeah, well they, actually they actually got me over to America to compete in Nathan's famous hot dog eating contest. Nella, we've got you here today because we want to send you to the world hot dog eating champs in New York. Oh my God, that's crazy. Thank you so much guys. Oh, no, we're not going to do it personally. We can't afford it, that costs quite a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Hey, most of the time, like 95% of the time, I'm pretty healthy. Like I don't ever really eat breakfast. I do what you'd call like intermittent fasting. So I don't eat breakfast, I'll have like a late lunch and like an early dinner or something. So I'll tend to stick to my meals, like one to two meals a day. I'll eat all yeah. my calories in that kind of like time frame. Yeah. I'm not like a snack or anything like that. I zone out, like when I'm doing a challenge or a contest, like I like kind of, I'm in the zone, I'm just thinking about being able to finish something in a certain amount of time. The bigger challenges you feel a little bit uh, for the rest of the day, but yeah. by the next day, once you sleep on it, you wake up and you feel once like a million bucks again. And you've got up. Yeah, it's like, a re it's like a reset. <laughs> Nella's culinary challenges span a wide range, from downing three liters of milk to tackling spicy noodles and everything in between. I'm a big foodie myself. I used to own a restaurant, Tux and Bao. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love food, like massive, massive foodie. So I actually enjoy these challenges. Even if I'm like quite full and it's been going on for a while and I'm like yeah. just trying to finish something, I can still like find enjoyment in it, which I think is good. I do a lot of um, like spicy challenges. So yeah. like Korean fire noodles is like a big thing for I, me. Yeah. I like it. I like doing those kind of challenges. I still enjoy it in a way because you get like a thrill of being able the to finish right? it. Yeah. yeah, you get like a certain like boost from it. You're like, oh yeah, like I feel really good because I was able to like complete that. So even if it's not so nice for those ones, that's the kind of thing that drives me to be able to do it. <laughs> With all of Nella's challenges behind her, the real question is, where to from here and how long can she continue for? Like I, I'm just going to do it as long as it's fun. Yeah. As long as I'm enjoying it, I'll do it. It's not my main, it's not my like job or anything, it's just like a hobby, so I'm just going to do it as long as I like it, and then yeah. when I'm bored, I'll stop. <laughs> Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.